Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, eat a dick. Scoot the burps. Scoot the burps. This fucking game, it makes me sick. I'm Paul. I'm Alan, and I have no idea what the fuck was that. I think it might have been a reference to something. I'm Anthony. Of course it is a reference. <laughs> and welcome back to the shit show that is our podcast. That nobody listens to. We have a whole lot of dumb shit to talk about today. All right. Oh, boy. It's going to be a fun one. All right. So but uh, f- first, let's start off with our weeks. Uh, or whatever you were going to say. You go first, Paul. Uh, we played some Time Splitters. Yeah, that was fun. That Which one? Future Perfect. Oh yeah, that's the best one. It's so yeah. dumb though. <laughs> it is. It has so many stupid characters that have make no sense at all. There's a fucking dinosaur, Robocop monkeys. That's how you Ariel Da Vinci. It. Yeah. Ariel Da Vinci's the best. <laughs> who's that dude? The one who's in a gang? He's got a giant head. He's he he looks like, like, like a monkey. We just put a multiplayer. Uh, um, his know. name's um. His that's name his is joke. It's something with the H. Harry. Probably. Harry is the best character. Ha- I, I like the wh- I like the whale with the top hat and the monocle and the pipe. Yeah, that's a fun game. <laughs> I like the monkey. Oh yeah, the he's ro- fun. The Robocop monkey. You also can't hurt him because he's tiny. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. The only thing I don't like about that game is that the maps are too big and also too dark. You the don't. Only, oh. Uh, the only good place is uh, the Mexican, Mexican mission. mission. Yeah. Yeah. That one is so bright you can find anyone, and maybe the sniping place in, in the Arctic. What about whatever. the temple? What fucking temple? Uh, it's like a temple. It's, it's a got temple spikes in, in there. Uh, um, we didn't play that one. No, we. No, we didn't. There's also you an did. outdoor forest like jungle place too. That one was. There's some and pretty well lit areas. Some are. But most of them were dark, so uh, that's a little. It's true. Fun. Lighting engines, am I right? All right. Anything else, Paul? Hmm. Huh? Oh wait, I also played. Horizon Zero Dawn. Oh, finally. Mm-hmm. Last night. Yeah. How was it? It was alright. Uh, I didn't care for um, Kid Monster Face. Yes. In the beginning. Kid Reminded me of Chucky. Wait, A the, little bit. Wait, you the mean Kid what? Aloy. Yeah, Kid Aloy. Aloy and the other kids. That that Aloy looks faces. normal, though. The other kids look fine. No, all it was the kids Aloy. look weird. I think it was her hair. Her hair did it. No, I think all, all the kids' faces look weird. I was like, come on, let's, let's hurry up and jump. Well, you know dope. what? There aren't a whole lot of kids in video games, so modelers don't know how to how to do that. Steve, okay? someone, someone it, in the comments put a list of children characters in the comments. And Fallout is is not one of them because those put just look like men. <laughs> <laughs> They're like little tiny people. Yes. Like, Did you know if you if you get the camera off because you're stuck in first person view that it's actually just. The adult version no, be of quiet. yourself? No, be quiet. No. <laughs> the, the child you don't is just a shrunken adult no. you. Don't ruin it for him. I don't know him. what you're talking about. I peel back that no, curtain. No, Liam Neeson. <laughs> Help me. Be one with the force. That's Liam Neeson, right? Yeah. Whatever. No, no what? That, that's he's from he's Obi- in Fallout. Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan. No, no, that's quite quite on Zoom. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's yeah. all good. Yeah. Yeah. What about you, Anthony? Well, I played some Yakuza 0, doing all the side quests. I just got the second character. I don't know if I like him as much. I think I prefer Kiryu, because the second character is just like, Ooh, I'm a big fancy guy, and I can talk a whole bunch, and I'm a real <laughs> smooth talker. Eye patch guy? Yes, oh, eye patch okay. guy. So I got a question. Have you found the best character in that game yet? You, no. You'll know which one it is once you see him. You'll see him in the background, maybe, and you'll be going to be freaked out a little bit, but he's the best character. You mean the dancing guy in the underwear? Yes. <laughs> hey, I like that guy. He was in the club. <laughs> so you met him already. Yes, he's in the club. All right. <laughs> Do you talk to him? Because he's just there. You can talk to you him. You can talk to him. Oh, well, he's just there. Maybe it's the different underwear guy. I, I, I don't believe Well, that. look, man. <laughs> patch Man is kind of boring. Because it's always like there's no conflict in anything. You're about to, your first mission is like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go take this girl from this strip club for my strip club. And it's our competitor. And he goes in there and you're like, yeah, I entered a fortress. It's going to be like a dungeon. I'm going to fight some dudes. A and dungeon then he's like, and a, cl- a club dungeon. No, pretty much. Like, you know, video game dungeon where it's like <laughs> levels, layers, floors. <laughs> you can't call it a dungeon. It's a club. It's a dungeon because that's what it is in like a game term. Okay, fine. You know? Yeah. It's a, you <laughs> fight goons and then there's a boss at the top. Right. Turns out the guy is just like, oh yes, final boss. Hey, how are you doing? Uh, actually, I want to get get one. Yes, and now here's the art of the deal. 
And he's like, oh, well, you make a pretty valid point. <laughs> and it's like, well, well there goes that. There's you don't get to no level, no dungeon, no fight. He's like, yes. And he's like, well, all right. But to be now clear, that you leave the room, you left the club, man, I'm beat. Let's go home but with to be no fair, conflict. Though, think about it. You just want to go there to get a girl. It's not like you're going to go for revenge or steal it. Money you think that for. they'd be like, yeah, over my dead body, and then you fight everyone in the club. I don't know. I don't think that's a big reason to risk oh, your Oh, shit, life. man. An hour... Dude, it's their best girl. I'm getting their number one. Oh, okay, no, that that's a little different. I guess they seem very chill then. Trying to get yeah. their it, bottom bitch. Basically. Yeah. Because someone else took my bottom bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds just like a Yakuza now. It's perfect. <laughs> no. But then, no, yeah, cure you. Everyone tries to fight you on the street all the time. <laughs> I guess the only thing that happened was uh, I did fight a dude who was like a cult leader and he's some hippie. And man, you suck. And he's like, yeah. And that was the only fight. Did you get the Dragon point. Quest game? No. In the game? No. Oh, oh wait, yes. Okay. Era Q3, yeah. I think is what it was called. <laughs> yeah. That fucking Ed Ed Nitty episode condensed in a, in a ten minute episode. <laughs> fucking hey, I stole it from the guy who stole it from that guy who stole it from the kid, and that's who you stole it from. So now I want it back. <laughs> it's what like, a plot twist. Yeah, and then he's like, "Oh man, you're a little too late. Actually, that guy over there stole it from me." <laughs> it's like. Like, all right, geez, even the main character's like, this is making my head hurt. <laughs> like, where the, who stole it now? Like, you'd think after a while he'd stop trying to beat the guy up. And just be like, all right, did someone steal it from you? He's like, yes. <laughs> you can just skip that fight. Um, uh, and then didn't... there's that. Uh, <laughs> Destiny 2, some progress. There's a little bit of update on that. I thought you beat it already. I did. They have ornaments. I want that fucking helmet. Okay. But you have to win 25 competitive matches, and you motherfuckers aren't playing the game. I need you guys. Get those 25 wins. You want me to go into comp So why are you solo? looking at me? I'm not <laughs> I playing the game. You, because you buy it. No, I'm, I'm not going to play you, it. You buy it, Paul. Buy it. You, you buy yes. it, Paul. No. You must buy it, Paul. I'm good. I'm I need good. some buy. dudes to come in competitive with me. Okay, I'm fine. Because you can't do that shit with randoms. Yeah. You can't you can't do team tactics where you're like, all right, two over here, two over here. You can't call out. And do you really want me to help you out? Yes. He's going to fuck it up. You can be the fall guy. You You'll be, be the one that draws all the fire, and Alan can be the sniper. I don't, I don't, um, I like, sniping. I don't like sniping. I Neither like do sniping. I. I don't wow, equip really? any of them. I don't, I don't like, like sniping? I, I like can, sniping. I can do sniping, but I don't like it. I'm bad at it. I just feel like it's the coward's way. You're a coward. Coward's way. It's so much so. If it's, so not, it's so are you satisfying calling, getting a headshot. Are you calling Quiet a coward? She's a girl. <laughs> I don't know. That's horrible. All right. Well, it's the year 2018, and uh, congratulations, was, Alan. Yep. Oh no. Oh Welcome no. Welcome back to the 70s. Yep. Yeah. Your friend Alan. <laughs> no. Thanks, <This> Gramps. <laughs> Shut up. Um. And yeah, uh, Destiny 2. They're like, oh my god, we're so sorry. We fucked everything up. So now I'm kind of happy. They're like, hey, for seasons. Instead of getting one loot box, you get two, all right? Be happy. And that's more than anyone else has ever done, to be honest. You get two loot boxes for the Valentine's Day event coming up. They're going to make it. You're going to get a pink armor with hearts? Probably. You get uh, you get the Valentine's Day loot box on top of a normal loot box. Now, wait a minute. Yes. Where are you going to take Gwen? I don't know. To a Valentine's Day party. <laughs> that ain't that right hey, Gwen, now. you're back. It's hey, Gwen, it's... you're uh, back on the show. It's not Be part... our guest. <laughs> we need We need a guest speaker on the show, Alan. It's true. Maybe. Get Couch Hop in here. No, fuck That's expensive. Guy. No. I'll okay. only tell them they suck. That's all. Alan's the only one that hates them. We're big fans. I know, come on right? The... But, uh, couch Hop, if you want to defend yourselves, come on the podcast. We yeah. also have our own um, Trevor. Yes. Our Trevor can meet up with your Trevor. <laughs> They'll fight each other to see who the real Trevor is. Or eat chicken nuggets together. Yeah, that's That'd true. be interesting. Yeah. We get them both sitting at the same table eating chicken nuggets and talking. I don't know any old people, but we'll, we'll work out. We'll find someone. Yeah. Right. Um, well, that's it, really. How was your week? Uh, not as busy as last time, but I played more Dungeons Dogma. And I'm going to say that the game is great, but... There's a little tiny problem that I almost want to kill someone 
whoever was responsible for not putting this in here. Mm. There is no fast travel, nor nor mount. Well, you Alan. see, it might just be a product of its time. No, no, no. You don't seem to understand. Alan, it's from Japan. Yes. No, true. no. You don't get it. Okay. There's no fast travel. The place is Skyrim size cool. map with no fast travel. Mm -hmm. Your stamina runs out immediately after running for like two min, like uh, not even two minutes, like fifteen seconds. Well, then Especially you upgrade your stamina. I have. There you go. Seems and like then, this is an easy solution. It's not an easy solution. Shut up. You're gonna, <laughs> gonna go from one place to another. Like the other side of the map, you, you'll take like two hours to get there. Are you telling me that one of the world's greatest games ever made by people on Metacritic has a problem? <laughs> yes. Are you some sort of fucking troll here? <laughs> no. A uh, guy, sick him. Comment Fuck section. You. Fucking destroy him. Bring it all, motherfuckers. But yeah. This yeah. motherfucker can't talk about the greatest game ever made. <laughs> what, Dragon's Dogma? Yes. According to people on the internet. <laughs> and it's only because of the song, though. Yes, it's true. Yeah. Everyone likes I'm that song. I'm surprised you haven't been singing this. What? I don't know the song. Jeez. You love, you like this song. Yes, I do love. But you song. always sing it every time we say Dragon's Dogma, and this time's like Not the only time you don't do time. it. Jeez, but yeah, man. but yeah, fuck it. That game is great, but it needs fast travel. And there's only like like a crystal thing that you grab, but it only teleports you, you uh, teleports you to wherever you place it on, mm -hmm. and you have to do it like manually. Like you're like, oh, I have to go to this mine. But, oh, I need to resupply or drop all this random shit I have that makes me walk like a freaking, like, out of fat ass. Even though I'm, I look like guts and, and walk like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Oh, my stamina runs out like two seconds because I have a shit ton of stuff with me. Even though mostly it's just plants. Woo. Apparently plants are heavy. They are if you have like 10,000 of them. I only have like 20 or 30. Good. Those flowers are real heavy. I know, they right? weigh, they, they... Fucking gather <laughs> but yeah uh yeah play that i'm fine with it except that but uh also i watched like two new shows that came out mm -hmm. uh overlord season two one of the, and the cool thing about it is that it came out yeah season two already came out i like overlord started, yeah it started like this week finally a fucking light novel gets a season two uh, actually, a few do get them. No, they don't. Most of the they never do because they want you to read the light novel. I know. It's all in the comments. No. Uh, yeah. 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 There's. Or I've never seen a light novel. When's Roka getting a season two, Alan? We're never gonna get a Roka season two because it didn't sell well. When's Watamode getting a season two? What the fuck is Watamode? What's Roka? Roka. Roka. Yeah, Roka. Roka. Roka no Yusha. It's the only anime I've ever seen that uses Aztecs. As their foreground. Yes, and it's and, great. And, you know, Japanese Larry David is Watamode. And, dun, dun, and then dun, there's dun, Waifu dun, with dun, the dun, gun. Dun, dun, dun. What the fuck are you talking about? Waifu with the gun. Well, no one knows what Watamode is yet. Uh, you know, it's your fault I'm not popular, Watamode. Oh, that one? Yeah. No, no. So I thought the we're girl talking with about the bags under her eyes? Oh, fuck that noise. Fuck. That's a great show. We're talking about... That is a great show. It's amazing. I don't I don't care much for it. Cringe a comedy. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But yeah, that and um, the like, uh, I think it's a, an anthology with a bunch of short stories from the guy who made Geo Uzumaki and a bunch of other horror manga. That, I don't know how you you read Geo, you right? Talking about Junji Ito. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he, but here's the thing, they're kind of some of them are kind of creepy, but some some of them don't last long enough to be creeped out completely by them. Mm -hmm. And there's even one the first. The first short ever was about this little douchebag who was like, Oh, I'm better than all of you peons. And he looks like a freaking loser in high school who mm. goes to this little, lives in this tiny rural place. And uh, all he does is putting uh, like curses on people. And somehow they never explain how he does it. And, and I guess the... Magic. Yeah, magic, I guess. But the whole thing is that, Oh, I cursed that guy in my school. Like, I made sure he got buried inside, I don't know, in some old man's like backyard yeah oh but i can never defeat my older brother <laughs> i always get my ass kicked by him whoa yeah that's a <laughs> the only one who can beat him is his brother and he never thinks of doing a curse on him for some reason because it's his brother and all the time he's like oh damn you older brother <laughs> i'll make sure you pay Nisan. for this <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I will not curse you. I will just say it, damn you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and besides that, uh, the optimal route. Yeah, I've been just sort of uh, been watching a few uh, because you know, well, I'm one of those people who every time he gets into something, no matter what it is, he gets curious about other stuff regarding it. It has to research about it and never finishes anything he starts. Just like all five of the games, you're still not playing. Yes, and um, so. You know how I said I, I like Lucha Underground? I just got curious and watched a few of the old-ass WWF. Yeah, when it was WWF, not E. Mm-hmm. Like, skits and all that. And you know what? Freaking The Rock was the best. Now I know why he's a successful su- yeah, successful actor. Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? Yeah, I mean, you know what? Okay, I'm going to tell you my favorite one. I still... <laughs> yeah, I love how he talks. Imagine him talking to himself in third person. He stole uh, Steve Austin's belt. You know mm-hmm. Steve Austin, right? The Sterner guy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he stole this bell and they're like, oh, you want to get it? Come over here at this bridge in the middle of the night out of nowhere. He's like, ah, this guy's taking this piece of trash taking forever. Oh, what's this? A fishing rod just came out of nowhere. Okay. You all know The Rock is an avid fisherman. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go around fishing for a while. <laughs> During the entire skit, he's just fishing, just waiting. Like, oh, okay. Then he's like, after a while. Okay, according to the Ro- Rock uh, Rolex, uh, this piece of trash is not getting here, so I'm just gonna throw this belt on it. All of a sudden, you can hear a car coming. He's like, "The rock smells trash." Whoa. <laughs> Look at this guy, biggest piece of Texas trailer park trash walking on God's green earth. <laughs> He's like, "You want your precious belt? Well, here it is. Where you get your candy ass? Just be start beating the shit on each other and throw Steve Austin off the bridge." Oh no! It was awesome. <laughs> I'm like. We need that shit back. We need more people doing horrible stuff to each other. But there's dumb stuff all the time. There's that dude who gave who 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 gave birth on stage and then beat up whatever. Like, <laughs> Wait, what? what? I forgot what? who it was. What? what? There was one. Um, I heard about it a while ago, and I just heard how stupid it was. But this woman gives birth on stage to a wrestler, and the wrestler immediately starts beating up the other two. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? That, that cannot be true. I don't know where it happened. True thing. <laughs> I mean, okay, yeah. Like, I and would. that sounds like some dumb fun. Yeah, that, that's the thing I like about wrestling. It's dumb fun. Especially, well, the only thing I like about uh, mm-hmm. the current wrestler is there's only one. He's so crazy. I think it's Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Uh, just imagine he was part of this team called The Shield. They were like the biggest motherfuckers in the team, like in the whole organization. Their leader of them did the whole an- uh, anime betrayal of the year. <laughs> Tom mm-hmm. anime betrayal. Beat the shit out of his two friends and sent a bunch of other ones to beat him up. And and one of the one of the members was Dean who got his ass beat. And he's like, you know what? All I'm gonna do now is make that guy's li- life miserable for the rest of my li- the rest of his career, and he's done some crazy shit. Like, just imagine the other guy, the betrayer guy. He's like doing an interview out of nowhere. You see Dean eating a bunch of cookies right behind him. Like, what are you doing here? You want any cookies? I don't want any. He just throws them and starts beating the shit out. He brings any excuse to beat the shit out of him. He'll even hide under, under like, in a parking lot. He'll hide in a trunk mm-hmm. just to pop out and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> and the best one is when he saved John Cena mm. from that guy, Kane, and the RKO guy were all beating up on John Cena. And he arrives with a fucking hot dark car. <laughs> it's like, hey, what's the, like, like, what the fuck is he doing with that? He pulls, like, uh, from his holsters, he, like, freaking ketchup and mustard, blinds the other two, freaking battery rams them with that shit. <laughs> And yeah, a bunch of stupid shit happened. Oh, and while all that is going on, just imagine RKO guy on the floor. You're not supposed to see it, but he's just like, he sneak a hot dog and start eating on the floor because you know he's supposed to be on the floor. Like, ah, can't get up. But yeah, good fun. It does sound like a jolly good time. It is a jolly good time. I like me some dumb wrestling skits. Dumb wrestling skits are great. Dean Ambrose is the only good wrestler that I like in the ring. Even though I never see his matches. I used to not understand why people like wrestling. And then I realized it's because, yes, of course it's not real. It's stupid. They fully embraced anime now. Yeah, they're they're pretty much anime. Live action anime. Does anyone remember the um, one-legged wrestler? No. No. Oh, man, that was great. Because, like, it, he had, it was like this underdog story where he was trying to be a wrestler, but then Ed McMahon was like, no, you cannot be in here. Oh, I well, remember. Yeah, remember that? Yeah. 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 Oh, and, then, and then there was one wrestler girl that was on his side like, yeah, don't worry. Don't give up and stuff like that. And they always tag team like, yeah. 
I was like, what the hell is okay, this? Okay, I'm going to explain it I don't really even quick. Remember. To make it easier uh-huh. for everyone who do- doesn't get wrestling. Wrestling, it's a comic book universe. Yes. It's an ongoing struggle between good and evil with a bunch of stupid ass shit going on. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. The way I look at it is it's like a stage play. Yeah. Because they're supposed to be in locations, but it's taking off place in the ring. But then they, they tell you beforehand, they're like, we're in a graveyard now. Yeah. And that's where they're fighting. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. That's and how it works. Remember, you officially kill someone once you put them in the, like, in the casket. Mm-hmm. Remember yep. that. You close it, they're dead. They're not alive anymore. They just cannot pull it, like, pull it up. Like, hey, I'm back. No, no, no. no. The now, sometimes they can come back. Yeah, they'll come back, but... When they do that to you, you're officially dead. Undertaker. Yeah, Undertaker comes yeah. back at, like, Yo, all the time. All, all the time. time. Oh, and remember, when there's a little tiny hole in the ring, and someone comes out and you drag him, and there's a little fire coming out of the, uh, like, from there, that means... You're in hell. You're in hell, yeah. That's what Kane and Undertaker do. Yeah. yeah. Cool. <laughs> you drag him to hell, like, Heavy oh. metal. Yeah. <laughs> I love wrestling. There's, uh... What about your boy, Brennan Williams? Brennan Williams. Better Wooly. Better Wooly? Yeah, man, he's a wrestler. Oh, yeah, that guy. I've never seen him, though. That's his Nico Nico knee, that's a signature move. <laughs> fucking <laughs> uh, This change to wrestling. Yeah. Yeah. Wrestle. All right, you guys ready to go into the news? Fuck yeah. All right. This is CNN. Dun, dun, dun. I don't care about it. All right. The most obvious is the Nintendo Direct, but let's save that for last because everyone's talked about that shit already. Yeah. Let's get in some hot, hot news. Also, for what? the hot news, Wait. Jake Paul found a dead body. But that was last year. Yes, it's true. Well, no, the very beginning of this year. Oh. 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 Okay. Well, let's not get into that. Yeah, who gives a shit Everyone's that? done that. Wait, is that Blake? Well, no, way. let's do it because wait. fucking all the Jake Paul people will show up. We'll nice. get views. Jake Paul's a bitch. <laughs> I know. Fuck Jake Paul. He that, sucks. That, that, um, that... Faggot. Come over here, fight us, jerk asses. <laughs> uh, who's Jake Paul? Jake, Jake Paul's, Paul's, Paul's the blonde douchebag. Well, yeah, he's funny. a. See, yeah, there you go, Paul. Keep doing that. Who is Jake Paul? Yeah, who is yeah, Jake who's that Paul? nobody? Who's fuck that, that guy. Piece of crap. Uh, I'm serious. I have no idea who the fuck that is. Because he crawled straight out of the trash and into everyone's hearts. Actually, so he's just like the... straight out of. of... A Disney Channel behind. celebrity. So does that mean if I if I see him from my way, I'll be like. Wasn't the he rock a, smells trash. Wasn't yes. he a Vine star? Yes, he was a yeah, Vine he star. Was, he was from Vine, uh, but then he then all the Vine people moved straight into YouTube. Because Vine's no longer profitable. And infesting every... Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, yeah. sorry guys, but he sucks facts. pretty He so, has like 6 million followers so, or whatever. Why? Wait, did you, do you remember the video we showed of the guy in Japan? Yeah. At the dead body? That's... that's, that's, Jake, that's Jake, Jake Paul. Paul. I thought Jake his Paul. name was Logan something. Uh, no, that's his thing. brother. Uh, no, actually, no, I think Logan it is Logan Paul. Paul. It's Logan Paul. Sorry, Logan Fuck Paul. Fuck both of Jake them. They're Paul so forgettable. Oh, Sorry. Okay. They're Logan. so forgettable and shitty. We mix them up. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Logan Paul is the one that went to Japan. Fight us. <laughs> yeah, I was like, who the fuck is Jake Paul? <laughs> Sorry, Logan Paul. Whatever. Same same person. I think. Same person. Whatever. Although they kissed on camera. Or whatever. Shut up. Whatever. I'll bring it up. Okay. What's care. the brand new? All right. Here you go. Get ready to get pissed off. Blaze Blue Tag Battle has forty characters, right? Yeah. 20 of them are DLC. <laughs> Half the roster isn't even in the game. You gotta no. buy those 20 characters. Oh. No. And yep. No, okay. no, no, okay. no, 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 no! Well, so is Yang. Yang? No, not Yang! No! <laughs> Let's see, we actually don't know who all the characters are. So wait, are you telling me that the... They haven't announced half of them, but we know Blake and Yang. Wait, wait. Are, and these people in the picture. Wait, let's see who they let's are. Let's see, there's, there's a list here. We got, uh... Um... Fuck, I don't know. Who are they? It looks like Iron Tiger's DLC. Yeah, it's Tiger. Noel's DLC. Wait, Noel of all people? Why I the guess hell? so, yeah. Jin, what the fuck is wrong with yours? Is that Jin? Chie is DLC, but I oh, think we already knew no. that. Yukiko's DLC. Uh, that looks like Ragna, but that can't be Ragna because that doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. That is so okay. Like Ragna. Why oh. would you do... Okay. Azrael is DLC. Okay, I got a question. Oh, Seriously. Okay, let's... Those characters have already been done. They're already been built. Yes, in all this their is games. an asset flip. 
Oh, yeah. it looks like you can't zoom so in. So you're making us pay for something you already did. Oh, the squirrel. Before. Squirrel Girls DLC. Makoto. No! <laughs> you can't even play as her. You got some girl in white. I think she's a Rooney wait, character. Wait, that is Ragna. Yes. Wait, that is Ragna. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Who? All right, let's see. Uh, the, you can get all 20 characters in one pack called an all-in-one pack. Let's see. We have a lot of unnamed characters. You have to. You can buy Blake individually, but everyone else you have to buy the pack for. Uh, there are three packs as well. If you don't want all of them. Okay. Uh, better question. Okay. Better question is. Let's see what the comments are. Hey, Twenty DLC characters. I know that's horrible. Technically, you're only buying eight because Ruby characters are all new. And yeah, I know. It's stupid. It's stupid. You already have those characters already made. Made if. Uh, it's like imagine if Marvel was Capcom 2 they took out half the cast and you know most of it has already been made from other games like there's they're sourcing from Marvel 1 and Marvel Super Heroes and a bunch of other games and say oh they're DLC like what the fuck that is so stupid that's so stupid we got silhouettes so we can play the guessing game but they overlap so that's yeah I don't, I don't care about the characters right now it's still like some of them are already like no L of all people. So is this like the fourth game in the series? Or no, 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 it's a it's a crossover. It's a crossover. It's a crossover. Okay, just imagine oh, okay. Blaze Blue, Persona Four or, or Arena, yeah, Persona Four Arena, uh, Under Night, which is like a completely different game, and Ruby characters. Yeah. Uh, huh. Four games crossing over. And you already have the sprite work and all that already, and they're making you pay for it. It's like Marvel versus Capcom Two, where it's the the fucking they just copied the art. They didn't do anything new. Yeah. That's why right, that's fucking... What, that's what I said. Uh, characters look out of place. It's like but if the they characters did that tomorrow, in there and you don't have to buy them. Yes. Yeah. There you go. Point they, made. They better fix that. They better fix that. Okay. That's some fucking trash. Damn it. Ah, no, so... Alan, buy the all-in-one pack. Shut up. You fucking narc. Wait, and how much... How much are... like? I don't know. Do... It doesn't say. How much is the actual game? It better not be freaking... $60, Of most course likely. it's gonna be yeah. $60. <sighs> All right, so next that news. Trash. I don't, uh, yeah, that's freaking trash. They're doing the rock and smell that mile away. It's true. The rock's already looking up. Yeah. So Conan, the barbarian, and not the little detective man, <laughs> has been. Uh, it comes back to Marvel. So you you can expect a kid friendly Conan uh, movie by Disney uh, within the next I few years. I hope not. Nah, I doubt it. I mean, they allow Star. Wars, oh, okay. Conan the Child Barbarian. They allow Star Wars, the comics, to be but whatever they want. Mm hmm. But I'm pretty sure that's not a big deal. It's just Conan. Yeah, I mean, tell that to all the people well, screaming bloody murder about how Dark Horse is going to die. Oh, Dark Ho Horse is going to be fine. They have, uh, they have plenty of. They have Hellboy. All the, all the stuff made by the creator of Hellboy, it's like. Hellboy's uh, ending, as it turns out. But the the large universe isn't. They have a shit ton of stuff always. Ooh. Every previews magazine that I buy, mm. and Dark Horse, the first thing, oh look, welcome to the Magnola verse. That's the name of the universe. Mm. They so, also have uh, be fine. The goon is one of theirs, right? Yeah, they're gonna keep the goon. They got they got their manga. You can get Berserk. Yeah, Berserk. So yeah, they're fine. It's just they're taking Conan. They were they were not doing anything with him right now, from what I've seen from previews. They're, there's only the crossover with Wonder Woman. Yeah, True. there's there's some miniseries that they cross. He is popular though. He is, but it's fine. We'll see. There you go. Yeah, Conan. They took away Star Wars, Alien, and Predator. Oh, fuck. That's that's what well, the yeah. thing is. No wait, but here's the thing though about that. Just so you know, you know IDW actually publishes Mickey Mouse, uh, Disney princesses, and a bunch of other stuff. So it's not like be very afraid. Wait, yes. PG no, 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 no. They. They've been publishing it nonstop, so like Disney doesn't mind outsourcing to different places, so it's, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. well, I'm it's not rated PG thirteen. I'm not that worried. Maybe they'll probably leave Alien and Predator comics alone. Maybe we'll see. No, PG thirteen. They have to put that gross Disney logo on everything. <sighs> Disney's Aliens. Wait. Uh, yes, I'm looking yeah, right at your fucking comic. <laughs> yeah, Disney's I have, Star yeah, Wars. I have the Darth Vader <laughs> trade paperback. It has Disney on the back and Mar Marvel, Marvel and Lucas Lucasfilms. Films. What a fucking weird trifecta of logos right there. I know, there. right? They don't fit at all. They were all different and now they're the same. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not that Disney's worried. Disney's Marvel's Star Wars. I mean, when are they going to do the crossover? Presented by Lucasfilms. <laughs> Lucas and he tap. Well, think about it. And Killing Kingdom Hearts 3. 
with Darth Vader please shut and up. Spider-Man. Don't, please stop it. And Conan, please stop don't, it. Don't. Don't. What, what, what would the Keyblade look like? Quiet. For Marvel? No, for Hank Hill. What? <laughs> what? Would you have summoned Bobby as a side quest? Oh, so he because can... Fox. No. <laughs> no, he has to kick everyone in the nuts. That ain't my purse. Or no, that's, that's my purse. purse. I don't, I don't know, know you. you. Yeah, you got the 999 damage. I thought It'd it be was a propane. <laughs> no, I'm Hank, Hank Hill. I'm propane. Hank Hill is your sidekick, and as before every fight, he's like, "I'm about to kick your ass." God damn it. Yeah. <laughs> that Ooh, boy ain't right. <laughs> No, I'll tell well, you what will the heartless for the, that look like? Them heartless. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> them, them heartless ain't right. <laughs> nice, be, um, nice knowing you, Sora. The heartless exclusive to the Hank Hill world will be, um, they'll just be football players and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll be uh, conspiracy. They'll be aliens. It turns out oh, Hank yeah. Hill was, or Dale, Dale was right. right. And he's like, and, oh, you can summon Dale. He Puck his there. Puck his there. Oh, my God. You got it. Everything. <laughs> we set it up. The <laughs> fucking king of the hell world. Make it happen. Yeah. And let one of the resting stops be the place where they're all drinking and have Sora drink a soda or something. Yeah. <laughs> the resting stop is um, you're with um, uh, John Redcorn. Yeah. And he's like, no, calm yourself there, Sora. I think the most memorable part is just them hanging out in the, outside of the oh, yeah, house and much. drinking. The massage will give you a buff. Yes. You get an attack buff. <laughs> you buff. All right. Or you can you can be the one to solve the sugar fruit murder. Oh, yeah. Right? The sugar foot episode. The, yeah, yeah, the sugar foot murder. It's like, jeez, oh, Donald, wait, wait, what's going to happen you here? Can, you can also have um, a cotton on your team, too. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I kill Fitty Man. Hey, Fitty Man, and he goes. I'm not that into King of the Hill like this guy. <laughs> he fucking obviously. destroys everyone. I know. <laughs> it's perfect. You got it. Yeah. You got all the babies from the flashback. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, major babies. Major. Oh my god. <laughs> fucking everything. It's there. Oh, the genius. Oh, it's all good. I, if anything, I all I can think of for the Keyblade is just like a beer can that extends forward. Uh, in the shape won't, of... Disney won't allow it. I assume it would be a propane tank. <laughs> yeah. You're saying like if it's gonna happen, it's not. I know it it's is. not. I'm just. You almost make it sound. Though. It will happen because it has <laughs> to. <laughs> I mean, there is no. Well, there's only one King of the Hill game, and that it's was true. like for the DOS or That's some, or some stupid. computer game. It was a really old game. Uh, so. Uh... Speaking of old games and the Kingdom Hearts team, oh. the world <laughs> ends with you. Um, okay. It was made by them. Yeah, I'm happy that they're going right. to release it there. Maybe I'll get it if I get a Switch. Just because also because it seems like they're not going to do the double screens thing. And I'll be honest, that was one of the most annoying things in the original game. People hated it. Yeah, you have to pay attention to both screens. Like, oh, you're moving here? Oh, you have to do this other stuff over here because your partner is fighting too. Never play that game. Yeah, it's not that easy to control. And you know what? And they're doing a expansion, so... I know he was in Kingdom Hearts. I it mean, looks fucking great. It looks great. It so. looks like a Kingdom Hearts game. And, and actually, Kingdom Hearts with Persona, I almost want to say. Yeah. So I don't know cool. shit about it, but it looks... Oh, cool. it's... It, yeah, but like the style and all that, very... Uh, urban like basically Japan. people like it and they're like oh yeah yeah i like, wish i liked it more because the gameplay is so fucking weird yeah and you have to shout at the freaking mic and the oh, that's yeah. stupid well not I a shout but i one that i never fucking understood that little gimmick where you're supposed to shout to the mic or, or use blow. the camera yeah because it's like for a portable device you look like a fucking idiot yep there was one i was playing pokemon i was at the fucking um ear doctor and they're like all right Hey, we'll be back in a bit. And I was like, all right, I guess we'll play some Pokemon. And then I was fucking petting my, my green piece of shit, whatever the fuck he's called. <laughs> the, the Toad Man. Were you blowing it? Or? No. And he's like, he's like, all right, here, your little thing. I give, give him some fucking uh, cupcakes. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, man, he wants you to make faces at him. Quick. Do the you cross your eyes and stick your tongue out. Ooh. And I'm like, <laughs> Wait, uh, can, does no. it even register it? Yes. What? <laughs> and then it's like it wouldn't let me leave either. <laughs> so it's like, <laughs> Take that. Uh, I guess I'm stuck here. I can't leave. I have to make the face. I, I can't just be there and be like, no, because it will still be expecting it. So then it's like, all right, fine. I, I look around the room. There aren't any cameras in here. <laughs> uh, 
And he's like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. Now do another one. And oh, like, my God. <laughs> that reminds me. Uh, Nintendo. Uh, yeah, in Fire Emblem Fates, you have to. Uh, they remove a lot of the a lot of the petting and all that in that game. Because that's fucking creepy. I know. But let's be honest. You know what they kept, though? When what, you petting? actually. when Yeah, yes. like you would like rub their faces and all that. They'll visit you in your room. I know, weird. But. I don't think the so. thing that you keep it, uh, you get, you get still to do is um, after you get married, sometimes your wife or husband or whatever they're gonna be asleep and you have to wake them up by blowing slowly and gently. I'm like, <sighs> I don't even do that. I'm like, oh god. I mean, I can't. I, I actually have to look around everywhere. Steve like, does that a lot to Gwen. Just fucking look around like. <sighs> <laughs> he pulls in her face. Wake up! Well, remember, you actually, have to be, no. You have to be gentle, or else, she's gonna, or else your wife is gonna wake up like, ah, what? No, you have to do it properly. You have to be gentle. That's actually how I get her attention all the time. We're just walking around Palm no. Springs and like, <laughs> no, I don't even. I, I blow aggressively, and she's like, I'm gonna do that now. Actually, fuck it. <laughs> okay, so what's the next game? We're gonna go painting. I'm gonna go. <laughs> hey, instead of going, hey, Gwen. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you do it so we're in the nintendo news folks pay attention everything on the wii u to make that console fucking meaningless is coming to the switch Yay! thank god because that thing is a travesty because they're bringing uh i think uh hilo warriors Hyrule i bought that Warriors? console because yes, everyone was like oh man nintendo had so many good games on it too bad no one will ever play them and it has like fuck you so better question is how come they haven't brought uh the shin megami tensei slash they're coming uh, you bet your ass they yeah, will come will. Oh, yeah. they will come right next to the wonderful 101 oh, hopefully but what oh, about yeah. is there any games that you guys are excited about there's one okay that i'm embarrassed but I'll still buy it. And I think you know which one, Anthony. It's the idle game. No, there's no idle game. Tag tag battle. The wife of trash game. Yes, <laughs> wife of trash. Wife fighting game? Yeah. Oh, okay. I figured. I mean, it's SNK. It's, and it's on the PS4 SNK as well. SNK Heroines. My Shirinui is a cow. They could not be any less subtle. I know. Well, that's what they do a lot with big booby characters. Yeah. Anywho, um, I'm Hello, excited Bill. for the new Kirby game. Mm -hmm. Hyrule Warriors. It's um, the same thing. <laughs> it's every Warriors it. game is the same. I, I prefer getting Fire Emblem because at least I like the characters there. Anywho. At least they have personalities. And that too, and their supports as well. You get to see crossover supports. Ooh. So Anywho, the new update for Mario Odyssey. Not the balloon one, but the new outfits I yes. want to try out. And oh. uh, what else we got here? I didn't pay attention to that. I don't give a shit. Mario oh, Tennis? Well, I do. Uh, Mario Battle Tennis is getting DLC. Mario Tennis, um, if the story mode's good, maybe. <laughs> was making, how, maybe. Of, how can there be a story mode in tennis? There was a there was okay. a story mode in the Game Boy version. Really? Okay, yeah. okay. I was, was reading good, about apparently. this. There was a fucking article that I kind of not an article, but this comment section it kind of made me cringe a little bit. And there's a couple of dudes being like, "Yeah, Mario Tennis story mode," and then they were talking about like. Oh, here's a picture of Mario without a mustache. And they're like, actually, you know what? I'd like to see an origin story about Mario before he got Oh, my fucking and God. When his first time rescuing Peach. And I just love the most sarcastic comment behind it. It was like, actually, I, I found a leaked script. Here you go. Wahoo! <laughs> <laughs> it's a me! Let's. Za! Waldo! Hey, we're back. Uh, so, yeah, there was this comment, and it was like, yeah, origin story of Mario, whatever. Here's the leaked script. Wahoo! It's a me. Let's -a go. <laughs> Actually, here you go. Here's the ending too. I found it. The ending is after Mario rescues Peach for the first time. Peach gives him a single kiss on the cheek, and then Mario goes like, "Oh!" And then a single mustache hair sprouts on his face, <laughs> and that's the origin of Mario's mustache. Uh, I... You guys, some fucking grade A compelling storytelling here. We get Mario's origin story. <laughs> You get it? <laughs> yeah. This character is not allowed to have personality. That's how he gets his origin story. I thought you were just going to wow. say that origin was Mario 1. <laughs> like yes. the first one ever. Actually, uh, the Mario timeline is very complex and confusing. Uh, no. Gwen keeps telling me she stops watching the podcast as soon as I shit on Nintendo, so I can't <laughs> wait to see when she no, quits No, Gwen, here. it's okay. I like Nintendo. There, you can keep Please, watching. Please, Gwen, listen to my bad opinions. I only care about Fire Emblem. <laughs> Mostly. <laughs> Zah! Oh, no. Tokyo Tomane! <laughs> we're back. 
We came back. Cool. What were you gonna say? Uh, I don't know that. Um, Fuck, man! You had it on your tongue. You were about to say it. That you're like, actually, this is his. Oh yeah, the, the best answer for that would just say just play the original Mario. That's the origin. That's the origin story. Yeah. No, the Mario timeline two is actually earliest in the timeline for now. But that doesn't cover the origin of the mustache. Oh, I was going to say that most of them are not even connected, so I don't know. They're just... They're not, just like Zelda games, but yeah. people wouldn't stop thinking that there was a timeline. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Fuck you. Nintendo didn't uh-huh. give a shit. They never did. Yeah, they never and did. And now that you made them give a shit, none of it makes sense. And Good they're job. like, oh, you Americans always making us put timelines and all that. God, why would we have to make a story about our non-story driven games? Jeez. It's all about adventuring you and all fucking that. fucking rubes. There's no such... It's all about being self-insert. Yes. Link. It is. Paul, Mario's self-insert. No I'm Mario. Yet. Yeah, you're Mario. Everyone's Mario. Oh, that explains why they wanted to make it's a me. Link a girl. I'm Diddy Kong because he's the cool one because that's also coming because fuck you, Wii U. Oh, yeah, that game also is coming. Yeah. Ooh, they added Tropical a few more... Freeze? Yeah, yes, didn't yeah. they add a few other characters in there? Or at least... Uh, they added Funky Kong. Funky Kong. Yeah. Who, who seems overpowered. Yeah, he's fine. But he's cool, though. Offer Maybe you. he doesn't get an assist. Maybe that's how it works. Oh, and the other news. Dark what? Souls. Yes. Who cares? It's coming to everything. Hey, it's bro- I want to try it's it It's going to be 60 bucks, I bet your ass. Of course it is. Well, because Why of the Switch w- tax, but you'll pay 40 if you're on a PS4. Yeah. Oh, okay, then it's fine. <laughs> well, there you go. Problem solved. I'm probably going to get it. That's why the PS4 is the better console for me still. Whoa. Okay. PC all the way, even though the video card is $900 fucking dollars for a 1070. Oh. Thanks, Bitmine, Bitminers, Bitcoin so, buttholes. Any predictions for the next direct, folks? No, uh, my prediction no. is I just that Fire Fee Emblem. exists. I Feel the song I, want, and I want another Tomodachi life. I want game. the Fire Emblems. Tomodachi. Fire Emblems. Tomodachi. Oh yeah, Waifu Fighters on PS4 as well. Yes, so. that's why I said it was fine. I'm gonna get it anyway, just because. Oh, and uh, Smash. I, At least the I can't stupid girl won't be there. The one you hate. Oh, the she's idol. Gonna, no, she's gonna be there. <laughs> no, the idol's not gonna be there. She's a costume. Oh, yeah, that's true. She's a costume. Then. There you go. You don't get eyeball Yay! girl. Yay! No eyeball girl Ooh. who makes a lot of stupid noises. Titties I... continue saving Nintendo as Yeez 8 comes out on Switch as well. A game that no one's played. I will try that out. And is already it. out, and I can play right now if I wanted to. Oh, I want to yeah. play on my Switch. However, our standards have all gone up since Persona. Yeah, um, I know. That's why. And Final Fantasy. And thanks, Persona Nier. and Final Fantasy and, and Nier. Nier. Yeah, thank Fuck you. Fuck you, casual trash. <laughs> um, hey, that's casual so anime games. trash? Whatever. Yeah, you'll need a whole lot more than boobs to save you now. <laughs> you have to actually write your characters or personality. Wow. I know, right? Fucking weird. The Rock Smells Waifu Trash. Mm. That, should be that, that should be the name of the episode. So far, we've been shitting on everything Nintendo related, so let's talk about Pokemon and shit on that. Uh, no, yeah, I don't, I don't mind. There's I don't a care. snake coming. <laughs> They're adding Blastoise. They're adding a sword Pokemon. Oh, yeah, the sword. Okay. Can you tell I don't like Nintendo? Gee. I'm I'm like. I like Nintendo. I'd like to give you my Nintendo origin story, but maybe that's for another time. No, there's time. Because I didn't always hate them. Oh, no. Tell me. Tell me the tragic story. The Nintendo origin story? Yes. All right. Well, a better was... origin story than Mario's Indeed. mustache. When I was a child, I grew up with Nintendo games. Oh, no. I had a, a, an NES. I didn't have one. I just played at other people's houses. Le Gasp. Uh, oh, Super Nintendo. And you know, you got all the basics. You got the Mario. You got the Link to the Past. You got the Metroid. <laughs> I forgot where the fuck I played Jet Force Gemini. But I was on. It was that on Nintendo 64? Yeah. Uh, I also had a Nintendo 64 and I had Mario Kart, Mario 64. I had all, all the big shit that everyone loves. And then I had a GameCube. And I never owned a Nintendo game on the GameCube. All I had was Tony Hawk Pro Skater and Agent 13. And I fucking loved those games. They were great. That's and then nice. my mom broke it. Oh. Because my brother was being a piece of shit. Oh. So she threw it out of the window. <laughs> but you see, I liked the Nintendo... <laughs> Good job, kid! Perfect timing. <laughs> yeah! Uh, until that fateful day, I liked Nintendo. Yeah. And I really wanted to play the Zelda games and the Mario game that was on the GameCube, because I wanted to play them. And then what happened? What happened was, 
I then went to a friend's house and played the Wii and thought it was the greatest thing ever because the Wii was awesome and it had motion controls and I really liked Mario Galaxy. And then I skipped out on the Wii U and I decided to come back to the Switch. And, well, you see, what a lot of people think is that, oh, you just hate Nintendo games because you hate Nintendo because you're a Sony boy all the way. Oh, Sony pony micro penis PC master faggots. I never <laughs> heard anyone being called a Sony pony. Basically, ever. Nintendo people are always like, you just hate us because you hate it. You hate us because you ain't us. And it's like, well, you see, the thing is, is I like you, you the whole time. You do not know the way. Yes. You do not know the way. You see, I did like Nintendo the whole time. The problem was, I actually bought a Nintendo console. <laughs> oh, yes. That's the problem. When that's you? A, when yes. You, when you is own the Wii U the one thing that stopped you? Also, the Switch. Because you see, for a while, all I hear, Switch all I would good. hear was Nintendo games are the best. Nintendo games are awesome. Nintendo games, best game of the year. Nintendo wins game of the year again. Oh yeah, Nintendo won this. Nintendo won that. The greatest thing to ever exist. Holy shit! <laughs> out later, and then the pe- and then I played it myself, and it's like, I'm not playing this for the story because the story sucks. All these characters are ba- actually it would have been the Nintendo DS that ruined it because I did get a Nintendo DS. And I played Pokemon, which is the first Nintendo game I'd played for a very long time. Fire Emblem as well. I liked Fire Emblem. Yeah. I actually really liked Fire Emblem. Yeah. And then I I went from uh, uh, Fire Emblem to Pokemon and was like, this is so basic and shitty. The storytelling sucks. Oh, yeah. The ga- Every Nintendo game I have played is too fucking easy. And the excuse is, well, you got to beat the game and then go into bonus world 10 hours later. Whoa, you think you fucking pleb? You think they're going to make it hard for the babies that play these games? And then it's like, the story can't be good because the story has to be shitty. You see? Because babies play these games. And babies can't comprehend good stories. So the story sucks. The games are too easy. I don't care about the characters. The lore is bad. There is no lore. Everyone is a function because nobody has anything interesting to say because babies need to be told how to play. So everyone just tells you, Oh boy, this boss fight's about to happen. I hope you don't go behind me and press A three times. <laughs> That's the dialogue for a fight. Fucking the Droogles show up and they're like, Oh man, I can't wait for you to not jump on me as they fall over and are on their ass and shaking while a big blinking arrow is on top of their head. And it's like, hey, jump on this guy. Do this here. Be here right now. And I feel like a fucking child playing those games. Why? Also, Splatoon 2. Jesus, man, that game makes me feel awkward. That is designed for children. And you wonder why we have no viewers. Yes. Nintendo's yeah. trash. No, because you! God no, damn it's it. fine. No, different opinions are good. Well, yeah. Alright, um, any other news? <laughs> uh, no. God, I hate Nintendo. Um, I have evolved. My tastes have evolved. Okay. I expect more from Should games. I explain? Wow. I want I... good story. Wow. I want good lore. I want challenging wow. gameplay. Wow. You want me to tell wow. you something? Incredible. None of those exist in Nintendo wow. games? Oh my fucking god. Paul, I'm gonna sh- fucking punch you. you. Don't try to kill Fuck me you, Wii Matt. Just because Breath of the Wild is different doesn't mean it's good. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna fucking choke you, he's, he's already choking you. This fucking again. open world I don't give a shit about with these characters you that don't, don't say anything. Fuck your Horizon Zero Dawn, man. <laughs> Horizon Zero Dawn's great. The fucking story goes places. I can go you're, 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 your breath of the wild with its beep, 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 music in the background. It's like, oh, Paul this is subtle that, music. Paul's assaulting Anthony. <laughs> He's crazy. Okay, I was going to explain it. Should Zero I just explain Guns, it? Cool cool music. Fine. And I see why Nintendo, it's a family, like family company and all that. It's like, it's Disney, okay? Nintendo, it's Disney for video games. And if some once in a while they make a game that is like oh for more adults or for people who want more, like Fire Emblem I guess and a few others. Yes. Should make them a Tensei games. Those are not for kids at all. No. <laughs> because they're hard as fuck. Let's agree and on that. Have great lore and all that. And uh, every like pretty much that's. So please forgive me when I don't appreciate your dick sucking for Nintendo. Every- or for Mario, pretty much. Yes. That's what you're trying to say. Mario's trash. Just games that are... It's like- you want to play a better Mario? Play Rayman Legends. And Origins. I guess artistically... That's the best Mario game to come out in years. Artistically, Rayman looks better than Mario. And gameplay-wise, it's more challenging Dude, and fun. Dude, come on. You have to admit that. As the, as you're an artist. You should know this, that Rayman, current Rayman... It's better artistically. And gameplay. Design-wise. 
No? Okay. And character personality, because they're allowed to have personality. Globox is a in big the fucking idiot please that Please tell us what personality Rayman has. He's a happy dude that goes out for all his friends. Well, ain't that you some had a gay. Shit. You had Rayman three. He's a fucking smartass that he. I have hates Rayman. It when people are I have smart Rayman too. one. Okay. Yes. I I've, only have a Rayman I've one. He saw the rabbits and was like, "These fucking idiots, goddamn." I've never. Oh, I'm never. just doing my chores. Jesus, go <laughs> away. I preferred his Leon Kennedy hair. He still has it. Eh, he's not in the same style. You know, what Mario did to the rabbits. Wahoo! Wanna, it's a me. They went and made a fun game. No, <laughs> that game is trash. Because any other <laughs> any other rabbits game is terrible. Yes, they actually are all really but terrible. You gotta admit, Nintendo makes fun games for people who just wanna have fun and don't care. About Except for me, because I expect more out of my games. Well, that's so, why you go to PlayStation and other stuff. And PC. And put, you should pre-order God of War. Then you have a story. No, Lord. I don't want God of War. Of course he does. That's, that's not what God of War is about. That of War, though. That war's about. <laughs> All right, well, we shat on everything Nintendo does, and you got my tragic backstory. And also why SNK, when they saw Spider C, they were like, what's our game plan? They were like, Mario Bros. Perfect. So, yeah. Steve. Payday 2 is coming. How are you going to enjoy that game without good mics? I don't play, huh, Paul? I don't play Payday. Hey, oh, it's yeah. almost as if Nintendo shouldn't have released a completely broken, backwards-ass chat system. And for these multiplayer games, Payday like is such a random game to port, though. Yes, it it's also one that requires communication and is very yeah. important that you yeah, talk to a, your it's teammates. It's about doing heist and all. You do need the teamwork. I can't wait for you to do that with your lack of microphones. I don't Wiimat. care about Payday, so I won't get it. Hey, we Matt, I can't wait for you to talk to those people that you're playing the match it. with. I don't think he's gonna play. Of course yeah. not. But I, I guess world, the world ends with you is gonna be a good game that you probably would like. The only Nintendo games I liked on a Nintendo console weren't made by Nintendo. This was made by I Square buy Nintendo, Nintendo ga- consoles to play non-Nintendo games. I guess it's fine. I play Phoenix Wright and fucking Castlevania. Yeah. I don't give a shit about anything else. That's fine. Uh, that's pretty much me because remember I was raised in Mexico. Different environment. So, <laughs> so I keep perfect. <laughs> That's one way to start. All right. All right. Well, we're back, but I don't know how much so we're back to. Uh, we covered everything on the docket. So what's the new grounds news? Uh, should uh, I just recommend something nothing. because just oh. just so people, mm. you know, uh, if you good. like Star Wars, go read Darth Vader. The ongoing right now. Ooh. That's one of the few things Marvel is doing right. It's currently pretty much it's Darth Vader Year One. Starts immediately after he goes, no! And <laughs> is that the one where he's like talking to some pregnant woman? And he's like, oh, I'm re- sorry, I hate myself. And eventually, I said, remember, he becomes Darth Vader completely? Yes. It starts from there, and that's where he pretty much shows how he gets his red, light, his red lightsaber. They actually show lore of how... Now, when when does he get his pink suit so that we can finally get that costume? Oh, that shut up, horrible. it never oh, happened. Yeah. <laughs> we need the costume. For what, Battlefront? Yes. I guess about pink Darth but Vader. Nintendo keeps... No, not Nintendo. Nintendo? Oh, that's how much I hate them. Disney keeps ruining everything. I know, but wasn't it EA? No. Uh, they can't put costumes in because Disney's like, the lore is important. We yeah. can't have a samurai Darth Vader. <laughs> you want to know how uh, why uh, uh, this says use red lightsabers? It's actually explained in this one. It's officially canon. So everything here is canon, and even mm. the Inquisitors appear. They eat ass. No. <laughs> All right. They eat ass. You know, yeah. we haven't talked about porn yet. Yes. No. <laughs> stop. Just Hello, family members. First Dark volume v- came out. Go get Barnes & Noble or something. Star- and then start... V- yeah, Darth Vader. Just Dark- called Darth Vader. Darth uh-huh. Vader? Oh. Oh, wait, wait. No, because two of them came out. The volume is called Imperial Machine. Mm. It's pretty awesome. It has badass art. No, we're, e- we're eating ass in here. Alright, well... Uh, is this the end of the podcast, Forgive guys? me, Jordan, Josh... We met, because I called you out twice here. <laughs> and Gwen. Yeah, uh, Gwen, I know you've stopped the podcast three times at this point. And God. Yeah, um, Gwen siblings, I hope you understand why I'd rather play on a Sony uh, console. So uh, please stop telling me to uh, stop playing in, uh, Sony games, because I like Sony games. Me too. And uh, I'm working on that PC, don't worry. Um, and yeah... Uh, I'm sorry 
Uh, who else likes Nintendo that we know of? Almost everyone. I'm sorry. Everyone. Everyone. I'm not sorry, Paul. You were Shut up. For it. <laughs> Shut up. You beat me senseless. <laughs> yes, over that. So you yeah. already got what you wanted. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you have to apologize. Yes. I'm sorry, everybody. My opinions have hurt you. I must go commit seppuku now. Because apparently that's the way people should be. Yes, uh, if I say anything wrong about Nintendo, because Nintendo can never be wrong and is always right, I have to kill myself to make it better. So uh, I'm going to kill myself now. All right, guys, I got this sword out. Um, you fucking weeb. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, uh.